Hello, everybody. So I wanted to talk today briefly about permissions in Business Central Online. As everyone probably knows by now, we just received the fall 2021 update for Business Central for all our customers that are online. Um, sometimes when we get these updates that come twice a year and then minor updates come monthly, um, we notice that there can be permissions changes that Microsoft offers with the update. Uh, these permission changes are automatically applied to the system permission sets. So in many cases, a customer has gone in and made a copy of the system permission set in order to make changes to it. And those copies do not get the updates from Microsoft. So how do we tell what those updates exactly were? Um, this is my uh, simple method for telling just using Excel. So let's go ahead and walk through it here. So if I go to permission sets here, uh, I noted this is post update. I noticed here that one or more permission sets have changed. It gives me a message here. And if I press show message, it's going to give me a little bit more information. It's going to show me the, the sets that have had changes done to them. So these are the base system permission sets here. And these are the ones that we created by making copies of them. And so it looks to me like there's changes potentially in all of these sets. So we need to quickly review these. So I'm going to walk through one and show you how to how to do this. So I just go up here and I go to permission sets and I start out with the base one and we're going to look at the first one. Um, this one D365 accounts payable and we're going to look at the permissions for it. And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to use my open in Excel function to move all this to Excel. I'm going to go in here and uh, open open this in Excel. Open her up here. Great, so now I'm just gonna take this one and I'm gonna put it kind of on the side here while I look up the other one, which is the permission set that I created from this. So here's my accounts payable one. So I'll do the same thing here. I'm gonna go in and look at the permissions and I'm gonna go in and uh, open in Excel. All right, so now I can see I got these two side by side. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy all my rows out of the custom permission set. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to just put them over here next to it. All right, and now normally what I've noticed in these updates that the only thing that gets changed is there's tables being added or tables being removed. If tables are removed, that typically won't affect you because they're just not there anymore. Um, but if tables get added, this could cause an issue with access in the client. So in, in this case of the 2021 fall update, Microsoft has added kind of like a splash screen on the front of some role centers that use some new tables. And that can cause an issue. I've had customers that can't even get in the system. So they come in the morning and they notice that they open it up and it gives them an error. They can't really see what's going on. And then we open a support case to assist them through that. We'll talk a little bit more about, uh, about getting out of this ahead of time at the end of the session here. So what I did here is I went in my uh, custom permission set and I just highlighted the column with object ID and I'm going to go in and holding down control. I'm going to do that in the second one too. So you can see I have both 
object ID columns in both permission sets highlighted here. And now I'm going to go up here and I'm just going to use a simple conditional formatting command. Highlight cell rules, duplicate values. And I'm going to change it to unique. And press OK. And then I'm going to go over here and look at these. So I see I may have a conflict with number 53, but I'll, I'll worry about that later. That's something custom specifically for this client. I'm just going to go in here now on the system permission set, because remember that's where our changes are. I'm going to sort by color. And you can, you can see here that all these tables are different. Something's changed with all of these tables in this permission set. So I'm going to I'm going to go in and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to evaluate all of these tables and see if they make sense to add to my custom permission set. I can already tell you from my notes that I've purposely removed certain tables like 15 for GL accounts, 79 company information. I've purposely removed these from my custom permission set in the past. And I know that because I've recorded notes for this customer keeping track of what I've removed. But some, some of these are, are new tables that have been added to the permission set. So what I would do at this case, I would just go in and specifically add all of these tables to the permission set, to the custom permission set in Business Central. And then once I work through all of these, remember I had numerous permission sets here um, that were affected by the update. Once those are all added, Business Central will then open as normal and everything will be set, will be fine. Um, so going forward, you, you may think that this is a, a little bit uh, concerning, right? Because our customer came in in the morning, some of their users opened up the system and they couldn't get in. So now we want to handle that ahead of time. Um, so there's an option with the Business Central updates in the Business Central Administration Center for customers can go in there and they can create what's called a pre a preview sandbox. And that preview sandbox is is basically it's a it's a sandbox database of the update what will be coming. So if this customer had done that a couple of weeks before this update or a month before this update, they could have gone and created the preview sandbox, done this process, identified the tables that are being added for the update that's coming and put those into the live database. Now, if you do that, it may not show the table name, but it will let you put in the table number in the permission sets. So you can go in and set this up ahead of time and then it'll just work. When the update comes out, assuming that you've evaluated all of the permission sets that have changed and you've looked through them and you've added all the necessary permissions, everything looks good. Come update time, everything should just flow through normally. And I, I've done this with other customers and it seems to be a pretty solid process. Unfortunately, at this point, Microsoft doesn't let us know which table specifically they're adding during the update. So this process has to be done. That's okay because as you can see using Excel here, it's pretty simple to go in and identify which tables are different. And then you just evaluate this along with a spreadsheet that you're keeping track of changes that you're doing as, as time progresses. Everything should end up being okay. Um, if you had a, had a lot of feedback from customers and a, a lot of uh, questions about these updates with Business Central Online. And uh, it, it is a concern, especially when they start adding, when Microsoft adds pages that are, are shown on the front of some role centers, because that can cause the client not to open altogether. Okay, so um, feel free, uh, reach back and let me know if you have any questions on this process and how it works out for you. Thank you very much. That's all for today.